the Queen, Prince Charles, and more importantly, Prince Andrew, behind the scenes of that rather indelicate stripping of military titles. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of London. Thanks for joining me today. This is, of course, a rather delicate topic, as one can imagine, because Prince William, as we know, has been out and about, very busy as ever, moving forward with royal life. But, of course, these last few weeks have been very fraught for the Prince, and let me explain the reasons why. As we now all know, sadly for His Royal Highness Prince Andrew, the Duke of York, he was stripped of his military titles and, of course, the right to call himself His Royal Highness. I think it's just respectful. You know, I think a lot of people, as I say, have been rather negative in advance of any conclusion to that particular case. But a lot of people wanted to know exactly how did that come around and how much was William, and more importantly, Charles, involved. So let me explain. As we know, the meeting took place between Our Gracious Majesty the Queen and, of course, Prince William and Prince Charles over at Windsor Castle and for a 90-minute period alongside, of course, uh, Prince Andrew. Rather, as I say, delicate times. Now, Prince William apparently has been rather hurt and upset simply because he's been portrayed in the media as the more ruthless person in the room who basically said, you know, they have to go, we have to do it now. Let me explain the background to what I found out from a very good source within Palace Walls. The bottom line was this, you know, they'd given an opportunity to Prince Andrew to try and sort of say put a lid on these things, you know, redeem himself. But by November of last year, it was decided that this could be the option that they would have to go down. A lot of fraught anxiety, particularly over the Christmas period, because obviously nobody wanted to actually tell him this. Now, Prince Andrew is not exactly clueless, let's be honest here. He would have known what was coming because once the case could simply not be thrown out and he knew what was coming next, he himself really should have offered that up. And that's what he did, in effect, to our gracious majesty, the Queen. He spared his mother, the Queen, the embarrassment of basically doing it for him. But now, as I say, the backlash surrounding Prince Andrew and the debacle of the Epstein case is a very, very difficult situation because whatever people say and however negative the media are against the former royal Prince Andrew, he still remains rather popular. And what's interesting is that, you know, William and Charles are very concerned about when they go out in public, how they will be perceived. The bottom line is this, though. They have to protect the monarchy. And in this particular Platinum Jubilee year, when all the focus will be on the British royals, whatever they're doing across the United Kingdom and, of course, Northern Ireland, Scotland and Wales, lots of people will be looking to see exactly how supportive or not they appear to have been. Now, what we do believe is that there will be some kind of picture at some point where we will see William and Andrew and Charles perhaps caught walking around the grounds in Windsor to set the record straight that there's no animosity between the three of them, which would, in fact, do a lot to call all the negative media PR. Finally, though, of course, it's very difficult for our gracious majesty, the Queen. I mean, you know, she is Prince Andrew's mother. She's very concerned. What we do know is that she has a very good now relationship with Sarah Ferguson, the Duchess of York, and she's grateful that she is, in fact, looking after her son, Prince Andrew. For the moment, though, as I've said many times before here on the show, we should, of course, right now, hold fire with any thoughts negative at all regarding the former royal, because this is an ongoing case. And quite simply, it does always have to be this. Innocent until proven guilty. And, of course, should all of that be rectified, then, yes, quite simply, some of the titles could at least be reinstated. That has to give, of course, Prince Andrew some good food for thought. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.